Hey, hey, Girl Scouts. My name is Keely. I'm with Girl Scouts of Western Ohio's product program team. Um, I'm just here uh, to do a quick little speed paint uh, as a little bit of inspiration for any troops or service units who are looking for ideas to do with their girls virtually and to get them excited about the fall product program coming up. Um, our mascot this year is the Pygmy Three Toad Sloth, which we're very excited about. Super cool. Um, so what I'm going to be doing um, with my speed paint is I'm going to be painting a, a sloth for you today. Um, this is not an instructional video. Um, I'm just hoping that we'll, this will be um, a little bit of a source of inspiration. We know that one service unit has already done a painting party, which we thought was such a creative and cool idea, so we wanted to share it with the rest of the council. Um, so today, I've, I'm using watercolors. Um, the paper I'm using is very large. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the dimensions are, um, but it's watercolor paper. I've already sketched out a very light sketch of a sloth on a tree branch. I just used a Google image for a reference photo. Um, you probably can't see it, um, it's a little too bright. Um, however, he's there. <laughs> and I also have my watercolor paints. Um, I'm using these here, which are in tubes. And I might actually dip into this little tiny, um, little palette that I have. Um, to mix my paints, I'm also using an old dinner plate. Uh, as you can see, it's very well loved. Um, I haven't washed it because I do like to kind of dip into the paints that are already on here because they reactivate with water. Um, I also have my brushes and a cup of water. Um, now, your girls don't have to use watercolors. You guys can use whatever you want. Um, acrylics, uh, markers, crayons, pencils, whatever they have at home will work really, really well. Um, and it's really exciting to kind of see like what they create on their own with what they have at home. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started and hopefully this uh, gives you a little inspiration for your own little painting party.
Okay, and that was it. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope you kind of got inspired to do your own little painting party with your troop or service unit. Or maybe just one of your Girl Scout friends if you want to do a little virtual paint party with them. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I like watercolors because uh, it allows for a lot of freedom. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, if it's more imperfect, it's better. Um, so yeah, I hope you try this out at home. Bye.